Hey guys, it's Matt here. Uh, this is just a little video for the people out there who are follically challenged like me. Um, for the ones that obviously follow me online for the music and the books and stuff like that, you've probably seen that over the years I've uh, progressively got thinner and thinner with my hair to the point where it had to be shaved off in 2014. Um, it started kind of going in my early 20s and it was on its way on the sides, um, which didn't matter too much at the time because I kind of had that kind of sweep over emo hair that everyone seemed to have in the MySpace days. Um, and then it started to kind of go up a little bit further and then start thinning at the back. And then um, over time I started using things like uh, products that were supposed to kind of thicken your hair or you can use uh, fibres and things like that which are little kind of fibres that you would use like a pepper pot almost on your head and it would just fill out little gaps which is fine at first because um, obviously uh, there's something for it to stick to but as time goes on it, there's nothing for it to stick to so it just looks a bit weird. Um, then you're just conscious because if you sweat you get this kind of black stuff running down or whatever colour you've chosen, in my case black. And then um, if the wind blew you or anything like that or if you went swimming it just caused lots of problems, lots of stress and it would probably take me 60 to 90 minutes of just messing around trying to get my hair to look acceptable so I could go outside. It's mad what kind of stuff just bothers you when you're a, a young lad. I'm 35 now, it's like I don't care too much but I just kind of want something to uh, frame my face really. So yeah what I've decided to do is uh, undergo the SMP treatment which is uh, scalp micro pigmentation and it's basically it's kind of like a hair tattoo um, but rather than a traditional one which is obviously I've got a few of those dotted around um, it's like a micro needle a little bit like when people have um, their eyebrows done on microblading but it's lots and lots of fine dots so as you can see like the side of my hair here there's a this was shaved on Tuesday night this is now Thursday evening I've been told to leave this um, until Monday when I have my first session so it can grow a little bit more and what they're going to do is match it all up and it's lots of little ink dots basically um, you can see this is not great couldn't do this years ago I couldn't actually just show people what this looks like but I'm, it's just uh, it might be helpful to somebody who's stressing out right now but yeah this was always still is kind of really thick really at the back and the sides um, and that's what the hairdressers used to say all the time, they'd kind of spray my hair and then run the fingers through it and say, oh haven't you got thick hair? And then after a while they just stopped saying it and said, how are you going on holiday then? Um, yeah, it's, just, it, it's not a nice process, but to be fair, for the ones that are probably going through that, it's worse going bald than it is to actually be bald. Um, you do kind of accept it for after a while. Um, the only thing I want is because it's August now, 2021, uh, I'm getting married in November and it would be nice to have something just to kind of frame my face and just shape all that so I've got to work with what I've got left I suppose um, but yeah I just I'm gonna have uh, the hairline planned out so I'm, obviously when I do that oh, look, that looks a bit weird doesn't it um, you can see where that kind of just started but it's literally just gonna go back like that I don't want these kind of straight line thing it just looks weird on pasty white guys like me so it was cool on black guys but otherwise you just kind of look like a they got a helmet on or something like that playmobile hair but yeah um i've obviously got my first session on monday the 9th of august it's currently um thursday the 5th i've just been for a little patch test so um, did a little bit of scratching at the back of my head with a needle just to see how the ink would take um, and they've kind of matched it up how, how we want so they're happy with what's going on but yeah so um, it's just a nice new option what I can try um, just to just kind of get that shape back to my face and I did consider the, the hair transplant thing an option, as an option uh, quite a while ago um, but lots of things put me off about it, just all the the fact that it, some of the hair can die off afterwards and I've still got all the stress of hiding everything and all that type of jazz so it's, it, it, it wasn't for me um, plus you had to take medication that can mess with you uh, you mess with your body especially yeah so nobody wants that but yeah this is just literally going to be a little video diary from someone who's 
having a go at it and uh, it's not a paid promotion no one's uh, giving me any kind of discount I've found someone local um, and I'm just going to try it out and I've done my research I've been looking into it since it first come around and um, if it goes good it goes good if it goes bad it goes bad but you're watching you'll see the results so I'll keep filming and uh, let's see what happens Alright, so we're on uh, on our way to Castleford right now from Barnsley, that's like 35-40 minutes, so not too far. And I'm going to do this three times and hopefully we'll see a little bit of an improvement each time. I'm hoping that you can hear what I'm saying in here because I know it's quite a noisy car, so uh, we'll see. Yeah, quite nervous now, it's Monday the 9th of August 2021. Uh, starting to kind of feel a little bit panicky hoping that it turns out all right so we'll, uh, we'll see what happens session one done um, that was done this morning it's now around 6 p.m. and obviously I've got two more to go but we've got the the shape of it at least it's uh, started to be filled in I know it's probably quite hard to, to see it's still a little bit red and swelled up which is typical of me when I have any kind of needle stuck in me for a tattoo or a piercing um, uh, it's come out how I wanted. I didn't want this whole weird straight line and I wanted the kind of staggered edge on it. Um, I've obviously trimmed my hair at the sides already and she's gone down the side of here a little bit. But yeah, so what looked like dots pretty much, the kind of the big ones done already and then uh, on Saturday we'll be putting in a few smaller ones just to kind of make it look a bit more natural blend it all in a bit more and then two weeks from then we'll be doing the final touches so let me know in the comments what you think so far obviously uh, it's unfinished but already looking a lot better in my opinion I don't know what your opinion is but let me know okay uh, Saturday 14th of August so it's had a little bit of time to heal so this is obviously session one kind of see it's settled down a little bit now I've had a ton of redness most of the week but that's not the usual for most people so uh, I think I'm just a bit of a weird one-off so I'm going to uh, Castleford again this afternoon for session two um, so we're gonna add a bit of kind of density and blend it in a little bit more and then I've obviously got another one a couple of weeks down the line from there so I'll uh, keep you updated. Okay, on the way to Castleford for session two. Um, I'm quite looking forward to it really because um, I've been told that's when it kind of really comes together. Um, I feel very unfinished at the moment. But everything I've read online says that the, the second session is when they start kind of really making it look something like what you've been hoping for. So, uh, fingers crossed. Right, we've arrived in Castleford. Um, it's really weird, I've, I've driven here a few times, um, actually driven past a little pub called The Lion that I used to rehearse in, like, in 2008, and we're in 2021, it's, uh, it's weird to see it, but then also, uh, I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's, uh, there's a little pub, let me turn the, uh, turn that down, you can't see it. A little pub called the Crimea, which has uh, since shut down. I don't know if you can see it. 
I can remember watching a band there a long time ago. Anyway, that's got nothing to do with this, but I just thought I'd uh, reference that. Yeah, so um, if you are coming to Castleford, if you're like me, you'll probably find the, uh, the one-way thing a bit of a nightmare at the beginning. Um, I was just driving around in a circle trying to find somewhere to park. So I'll show you where it is where I'm actually having uh, the SMP done. Um, and I'm just parking in the Wilkinson's car park. It's like two pounds for the day, uh, which is completely different to what it's advertising. So I'm not gonna question it, but it's literally 20, 30 seconds walk from where I need to be. So I'll show you what it looks like. Back home now, Saturday afternoon. Um, doesn't actually feel as sore as the first time. Maybe I'm getting used to it. Still a little bit red, as you can see, um, but definitely filled out a lot more now. Um, it's definitely looking a little bit more realistic, even though it's not. Um, yeah, so I've got one more session. I'm going to leave it a couple more weeks, and I've been told that it's going to be just general tidying up, blending, filling bits in um, once it's all settled. I've been told it'll probably be back down to normal again in a day or two, the redness will go away. So I will do another video in about a week's time just so that you can see what it's looking like and then we'll go on from there. It's now Tuesday the 7th. Um, I know I said I was gonna leave it a couple of weeks so you could see what it looked like, but I decided to just leave it right until the day before I have the final session. So it's had a good three weeks now to settle down. Um, and considering it's two thirds done, and I shaved my head yesterday morning, and it's now the Tuesday morning, I can't really see where my own hair ends and the SMP starts. I don't know if you can or not, but maybe in some lights when it's um, hitting the top, maybe someone can see, but so far I'm not really seeing anything. So yeah, we're going to go uh, over to Castleford again today, probably be there a few hours and then um, we'll see what it looks like after the final one. Back in Castleford, it's absolutely boiling. So British summer times obviously fell on a Tuesday this year. So as you can see, even in some sunlight, you can still kind of see it. But I'm hoping um, when we get that third session done, I'll feel a little bit more complete. To be honest, over the last couple of weeks, I've almost forgot that I've uh, that I've had this done. So. Um, a little bit less conscious of it um, in my day-to-day -day life. It does pop in my head every now and then, but 
it, it obviously is having some kind of positive effect so that's a good thing so hopefully it should uh, feel a little bit better uh, in a week's time when this is healed up after this third session so here we go all right back again uh, this is completely unrelated to anything really it's just uh, just document for my own amusement but I was just leaning forward paying for my parking uh, squinting at the screen because the sun's glaring on it so it's hard to see and some guy just put his head on my shoulder uh, and I turned around and I was like you all right and then he just looked really red and nervous because he thought I was someone else I think he thought he was uh, I think I, he thought I was his brother-in-law and he, he was so apologetic and then he just said uh, I'm glad I didn't do what I was thinking about doing to him I, you might have called the police so uh, I got a lucky escape there but that's Castleford for you apparently so Hopefully I can get to the uh, to the right place without getting touched again by random. So, okay, see you in a bit. finished heads a little bit sore a little bit red but we've got there it's um, looking a bit unusual with it being red at the moment but when it settles down it'll be uh, hopefully I'll be happy with the results the same way that I was after the second one which I'm sure I will be um, it was uh, not really as painful really for for some reason I must be getting used to it but I've got to put a hat on to go in the garden today because it's uh, absolutely boiling outside so I want to sit out in the sun but I can't keep this in the sun today so I can't have any alcohol well it's recommended that I don't so I'm not going to today gutted but yeah I'll do another little clip with how it is a little bit later down the line when it's settled down and then you'll be able to see properly and I'll do a lot of close-ups so let me know. It's now Sunday the 12th, uh, I thought I'd just do a, a little video, it's not fully kind of healed up yet but I'm going back on Tuesday just for a, a couple of little tweaks to this side. Uh, I just want this a little bit straighter and then this bit here is kind of curved down there a little bit. As you can see on that side that's exactly how I want it. So on the uh, the other side the same, but it's not fully healed up yet. It's still a little bit darker than the rest of my head, which is what happened on the second session. Um, but yeah, this this little issue here was I was going really really red, so it was probably hard to see exactly what was going on. I experienced like lots of redness on the first session, but not at all on the second, and then for some reason again some more, but. I have to say, I'm very pleased with it, it's come out, I don't know if you can see it, <laughs> but it's come out how I've wanted it, so it's not too over the top, and I can see where my head, top of my head's kind of finishing and my face starts now, which is quite nice, so uh, I will do another little video again when I've had this little touch up here, and when it's settled down a little bit more. But yeah, it's uh, it's been a success in my eyes. I'm not complaining. To be honest, apart from the people I've told, no one seems to have a clue. Some people have kind of said, oh, you look different, but they couldn't figure out what it was. And then people that I've met for the first time over the last few weeks, they don't even look past my eye line. Normally people would stare at the top of my head and just go, oh, look, he's got no hair or he's got a hat on and no one said anything. It's not something I'm going to hide, but if they ask me, I'll tell them. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, it's just bizarre that how kind of real it looks. It's really strange. 
obviously that is the purpose. But yeah, very pleased. This should be the last trip to Castleford now. Um, I know it seems a little bit mental just driving another 30 to 40 minutes just for the sake of a couple of minutes tidying something up, but I suppose if you want it to be exactly how you want it, then uh, you've just got to do, the, do those little things, so. Uh, miserable day, once again, in Yorkshire, England, so to be expected. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to this last bit being done, and at least then um, I can be 100% happy with it. It's just obviously a little thing kind of niggling at me, really. I just want it exactly how I pictured it, so, uh, which Joe said isn't a problem at all, obviously it was uh, very red when I was having my last session, so it's probably hard to see, but yeah, it should be quick and easy, and then I can be on my way. home now uh, finally finished off um, obviously I've got a really nice SP artist Joe got no problem at all in just coming and tidying up the sides uh, she actually did a little bit kind of staggering the front it's really difficult to get it on the camera to be honest with you I'll have to try and do a few shots from different light but she's uh, just blended it in a little bit more because I, I bought a few different kinds of uh, clippers and different options to shave my head with so I've got some choices um, which I will show you in this video as well but yeah I'm really pleased with it it's not actually as red today but I've only had a little bit done here and there but I think overall it's made a big difference it's bizarre I've actually got used to it now in this last few weeks to the point where I've forgotten that it's not real <laughs> but yeah let me know what you think and I'll uh, I'll do another little video to add on to the end of this when it's healed up. So it's the 21st of September now, it uh, appears to be fully healed up and I was going to do this video a few days ago but then I've been away and we've, we've been having some nights out and travelling and stuff and I've not been wearing a hat which is just becoming the norm now so I'm sure I'll be wearing them again in the winter because obviously there's nothing to keep my my head warm so but yeah I'm, I've got to say I am actually very happy with it obviously I know it's not kind of a, a thing that's for everyone because uh, the idea before I shaved my head in 2014 the idea of having my hair this short absolutely terrified me um, so it's probably not for everyone, it's not a quick fix for people that want long locks but I've got to a point where I even said to my partner even if I were to have like a hair transplant or something I probably would keep it around this length to be honest because it's just easy, um, I've got used to it and don't actually mind the way it looks to be honest so um, yeah I've just been, I mean some people have been shaving their heads kind of uh, every every other day or whatever but I've been doing it kind of 
every morning but it takes me like a minute to do it so I, I have bought a couple of bits and bobs to uh, to do that so I'll show you what they are anyway but I bought something quite cheap and cheerful off uh, off of Amazon um, which I think they're kind of around somewhere around 20 pounds um, the prices go up and down by a few pounds uh, it just changes all the time but it literally it's got a USB so you just plug it straight into a normal plug it comes with its own little charger, a couple of bits and bobs, uh, a few guards and things. But this is a, obviously a T-blade, so you can you can get quite close with it. And then when you turn it on, you can't see very well there, but it's got a uh, it's got a little percentage uh, screen just to tell you how much charge that you've got. And I was using this when I first had it done, uh, and it's pretty good, but. Um, I wanted something that cut a little bit closer. This does actually cut very close, but I got something else that cuts closer. Um, so I just use this now for kind of like tidying the beard and stuff, which obviously you can see I've not done for a few days. Um, the thing that I have bought is this uh, skull shaver by Remington. Uh, I think this was about 60 or 70 pounds, something like that. Another Amazon buy. Um, I've literally just used this about 10 minutes before filming this video so obviously you take the guard off and it's got those kind of foil shaver things but it it moves so it just literally just goes around your head and seems to get every little little area um, it's dead easy to clean because you just take take that off so uh, and when it's on that's how noisy that is a r little red light comes on when you're running out of battery and it's got something there that pops up to uh, tidy the beard with but I find using the other one much easier than using this um, so together they're, they're kind of a little dream team for me but um, like I say that's the Remington one I'm not actually sure what the name of this is to be honest with you it's, it came in kind of the most bland packaging ever but it's actually really good for the money and it had tons and tons of uh, positive reviews on Amazon so I thought 20 quid well, I might as well take a punt on it so I'll put a little link in the description to both of those if you want to just try, try them out or even just have a look um, but now uh, overall I am very happy with it considering it's again it's not it's not real it's uh, I mean the clues in the name it's Joe Taylor there's the lady that's done it for me uh, and her company's called Follicle Illusion so obviously you know it, it's, it's exactly what it says on the tin um, like I said, this is my honest review of it. I've not been paid, I've not been given some kind of discount. I'm not getting some kind of commission to send you to, to Joe, but um, you don't even have to go to Joe. You just, just whoever you do go to, just check out the work. Make sure you're, if you go to a big company as well, make sure that you're looking at the work of that specific artist rather than just what that company has done. You don't want to be getting someone in who, who maybe not as good and make, not make it look as natural. I've been really lucky because the uh, Joe has has been working as a as a barber for years, so she's she's obviously got a good idea from looking at the top of people's heads what hairlines are supposed to look like. I'll get a little bit closer, but you can you can just kind of see she's just kind of staggered the uh, the front and the sides because normal hair doesn't go in a perfect line. You just get lots of little dots, so it's it's hard to see on here. But I'll try and slide in a picture or something like that into the video. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit more staggered. So when you when you're speaking to me in person, it's it, it just looks very much normal. But yeah, this last few days we've we've been to some places. We've been, we've been away. We've been to Liverpool. We've been amongst friends that know that I've had it done, and a lot have been quite shocked at how how good they actually thought it looked because you know we've seen some nightmares on the internet um, and then a lot of people that have met me just literally have no idea so um, it's it's bizarre um, but yeah let me know in the comments what you think um, if you've got any questions put them in there I'll, I'll try and keep up and answer them for you um, like I say I'll be as, uh, as honest as possible about my uh, my experience of it I mean overall I'm I'm really happy with it. I've been told just to, uh, obviously, if I'm in the sunshine and stuff, just give it, give it some kind of protection. So put some sunscreen on, which I have to do anyway, because obviously I'd have a head like a traffic light. So, but yeah, it's um, it's all 
good as far as I'm concerned. So that's me set for the wedding. Um, not 100% sure whether or not I'll maintain this kind of look for when I get back on stage with the band next year, but um, I might kind, of, might kind of keep the hats up just because it's just my, my thing, I like it, but it is nice in general day to day not to uh, have to wear a hat or uh, feel that I have to uh, cover up. More so when we go to nice places, I'm not too bothered when you're just going shopping and things like that, you just stick a hat on if the weather's bad, but when you're going out for nice meals or you're going somewhere a little bit swanky, you you're kind of limited on what hats you can wear inside if you're trying to dress a bit more formal so but yeah this kind of works for me it's just clean and tidy um, I am massively pleased with it so that cost me £1200 and if I have to go back it could be in some people's cases a couple of years from now in others they seem to be between five and eight years it just depends on on the individual uh, and it would probably be another full session so that be, if unless the prices go up in years to come, uh, should be just four hundred pound every so many years, just for a bit of a top up. Been told it will, it can fade a little bit. Well, it will do because it's a semi permanent. It's not as deep, and then um, you obviously just get that kind of fresh look again when you have it. So yeah, like I say, let me know. Tell me what you think. I'll answer any questions, and obviously. Please like and subscribe to this channel, it helps me out massively, so thank you very much.